Uh, today we're going to swap it up a little bit. Uh, not going to work on the fire truck today. You see, I already started. We're going to start on the rat bucket. What I call it. Now, I know, yes, it's a wheelbarrow. And people do it all the time. But we haven't did one yet. So I want to start this and finish it. Uh, see, I done started on some stuff. Now, I got it pretty leveled. A little redneck ingenuity with some two by four and some metal bracings under there it's it's in between the lines uh what we're going to do today is i'm going to strip it all down uh first i'm gonna weld in some braces uh put one right there in front of the wheelbarrow i'm gonna put one behind it i'm gonna cut this out and kind of raise it up a little bit for my axle put my axle underneath the bottom side of the brace you'll see how i'm going to do that uh for ride height that's pretty much my ride height I'll go ahead and show you i mean it's almost two inches off the ground so yeah that'll be my ride height after we do the rear get that assembled put the braces across the front and the back that way the frame won't twist or shift get out of place we gonna take all this off then we're gonna start on the engine mount that's just a template that's not the plate i wanted to do uh get that going then we'll start with put the motor on chain assembly all that now uh, then the steering so yeah should be a fun one just stay tuned and watch what i'm doing just wanted you to check it out i didn't realize there was one back here so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the wells again i'm gonna cut that off clean some wells up uh go ahead and re-tack tag and re-weld because this is all gummy looking. But yeah, look at them. Like you can see. Pretty welds. Yep. Yeah. As soon as I get that, well, that's done for now. Um, I'm going to hack the back off, start on it. I'm going to leave this spot. I'm just going to cut right here in an angle. This is just going to be for my stopper to my the back of my uh wheelbarrow so i'm gonna do that let's see then we can start on the back get it all notched up clean these welds get them welded up i'm gonna cut this off I'm not using that uh we'll clean these welds up re-weld them and i may put a bar up here somewhere but uh, we'll, we'll do that whenever I get the motor put on. So, yeah, I just want to show you what we're going through right now. And let's get it. Now, I could have did better. Uh, it's not the straightest cut. But, I mean, if it gets my angle right where I want, I can fill that in. A gap. Certified gap welder. Uh, yeah. Whoever did this frame did a nasty job with the welds. So, I'm going to come back and redo all them. Uh, yeah. They even missed. No weld there. No weld there. Patches. and Wasn't very good. I'm gonna do that. So we'll start welding everything up, then put the wheelbarrow back on. Damn dogs messing my video. We'll put the wheelbarrow back on, then we can start with the rear. Get the knot set up.
started raining. Still is a little bit. Yeah, you can see on the wheelbarrow and concrete and stuff. Uh, we're just doing a little grinding, cleaning up all the welds. Then I'll uh, kind of get the back even a little bit and we'll start on the notch. It's a new day, so we're starting back on the rat bucket. I guess that's what we're gonna call it now. Uh, we did a few things last night when it was raining. Uh, yep, put the wheelbarrow back on in a spot. I uh, started on the notches. I cut them out for the pieces that come up to an angle. I kind of somewhat put the axle where it's supposed to go, which is not in the right spot, but I'm just gonna guide it to where these bearings are see what I need to do I uh, cleaned up all the wells and they look all good and strong now so now we're going to start back on the back we're gonna get the knots and stuff get that all assembled put the axle in then we're gonna work towards the front with the motor I'm gonna make a new motor plate that's a template let's we'll put that on there and see how it goes and maybe put some more bracings underneath and then we can start with the sprocket the chain we'll go from there all right we're just gonna put this in eyeball it pack it in see how we like it throw on the other side do a few measurements and we'll just go from there play with it a little bit other side same thing just to give it an idea tell you what I can move this Set you back a little bit further. I'll put you right there. Now what we're gonna do is just a basic knot set up. We're just gonna come up with it and then come out and just make a make a frame, make a box frame. But I'm gonna put the pillars on the bottom. So that looks something like that. Uh, 
Uh, get my hammer. I've got to adjust a few things. Roll you out the way. This is what we're working with. Uh, I eyeballed it the best I could, did a couple measurements. It's within 16th of an inch of each other all around. And then on this side. So what I'll do now is just weld them up and then we can start on the horizontal pieces. Okay, so I did some measurements uh, about six or seven times. I measured from the spindles to behind the axle on both sides, just so I can get it in between where I need to be. Now from side to side, I'm not worried about yet. All I gotta do is just bearings. I can either shift them over or shift the tires over on the axle. it will be good. Uh, yeah, we got that aligned now. And I came back and marked where I need to drill my holes. After I'm gonna tear this out and I'm gonna start welding all this up. Uh, come back, and trim some pieces off, make it look a little better, and then come back with another brace in and then some little angle pieces, you know, for strength, strength wise. So, but so far she's looking pretty good, about where I wanted it to be. So. Yeah, we'll get all that welded up in time lapse and then we'll I'll about have that wrapped up and then we can start on the motor. All right, show you the progress. Got everything welded up, top and bottom, all the sides. Um, come back and Make me something to go right here and there. And then come back and notch that off and that off. That way y'all be parallel with each other. And trim the back. And that all be done. Now it is not perfect. It's not perfect at all. This is a, a rat rod build. So, I mean it is the rat bucket. So, uh, it ain't going to be the best. Not the best one I've done. But it's going to be a fun one for sure. But we got all that done. I'm gonna come up with something for that. Get all that welded in, get it all smoothed out and stuff. But, I mean, I know people, you know, build them all the time. Ain't nothing new to them. But I haven't built one yet, and that's why I wanna finish this one. That way I say I did one. So, and it may be a little different. Not every one is the same. So this one will be a little different than others, you see. Especially, when you're building on frame because a lot of people use their old, old go-karts and stuff like that old frames like thunder cart frames and stuff but i'm not going to do that i want to do something different so that's why i wanted to build this frame okay so this is what we're looking at frame is pretty much complete on the back half i got the wheels aligned up somewhat so it looks pretty good my uh sprocket that was the old one that was for like a number 50 chain or something so i found an old 41 uh chain sprocket so i went ahead and just welded it on there i should have flipped it around but it's welded on both sides sprocket's good 
went and added some expanded metal to the rear put in a couple more cross braces now it's like a rat rod look so i like it a lot kind of resembles my power wagon over there we'll go look at it in a second see open open holes i put expanded metal even put some little gussets for for braces and the bottom bottom is pretty darn good i'll let you know that now i went ahead and cut some pieces welded in some gaps and yeah, it's, it's pretty smooth so that's it for the rear i'm actually gonna put this put this wheelbarrow back on Try to line the holes up that was drilled out. I don't know if that's even right, but that's what we're looking at. Now, later on, I'm gonna probably put some bigger tires, like some junior dragster tires on it, or maybe some four wheeler tires with some meat on them. Uh, that's why I kind of gave it that extra space in between. Man, that looks good. Now, I'm not going to cut. I know everybody's probably thinking, why don't you just cut this and flip it up? Like, you know, everybody does that. I'm just, uh, just going to leave it like it is. I'm going to redo the steering, have it coming through. But, yeah, I'm not going to not gonna cut that and flip it up, make it like a little console. I got another wheelbarrow. I might do it to that when I build another frame. But I want this one to look a little different. All right, so now we're going to go... So the power wagon I built, I have a wheelbarrow, uh, sorry, a radio flyer wagon. Frame is uh, all one inch square tubing. Now I do have future episodes on this. If you want to go check it out, feel free. Give you a little walk around of the power wagon. Now I'm kind of going with the same setup, just like this on, on the wheelbarrow. Motor's going to be in the front and stuff steering is going through i'm gonna do a manual handbrake not sure i'm gonna do that yet uh the chain situation is gonna kind of be the same i'm gonna do it just like i did that Mo uh, gas tank in the front except the motor is gonna be down on the frame so i'm gonna have it going to a jack shaft just like you see going straight back now instead of it being just a one piece chain like this one I'm going to have two sprockets, uh, just like this, on the bottom. I'm going to have, depending on which way, however it is to the wheelbarrow, I might have this one to the outside, have it coming back, and then just a short chain on the inside with another sprocket to the big sprocket for the rear. And we're going to do a tractor seat inside, too. It's sitting right there. I'm going to have it on some springs, so... All right, moving on to the motor. Harbor Freight called me, told me they had some 212 Predator Hemis in stock. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them. So, first time opening this. Yep, kind of exciting because uh, Harbor Freight never really has motors. People get them too quick. So, we're going to take this motor out and set it on the frame using our template before things all rusted up uh i should probably well some braces but uh yeah i'm gonna come back with some braces and stuff but we're gonna set the motor on and see what it looks like
that's it getting mocked up uh the engine plate is on well i thought i had thicker metal than what i had so i had to double up so i used my template and i just doubled it with another piece of metal same same gauge and uh just made it oh well i ain't got nothing else i'm using what i got but uh that's pretty much it for uh did the rear the rear is done for that most part for the frame came up did the engine mocked it up went ahead and did some braces put the you know, engine plate on there now that piece right here that's sticking over i'm gonna probably use uh some three quarter square tubing just to put back here because whenever i do my steering uh with a knuckle i'm gonna come through and put the uh this little bearing i'm gonna put that on so yeah i have i'll probably bring one more piece just three quarters square tubing instead of an inch and a half uh then we're going to get the clutch on get it all lined up coming back i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do on my side for my jack shaft where it goes back and put my sprockets right here chain coming through here to the big sprocket to the axle have it going to the little sprocket right here uh i have more inch and a half square tubing so i may just double it up on the side you know just cut it in an angle and probably have it to where it'll come out more that way it ain't uh i don't have nothing out too far that a bend with the uh the gear and the stuff and chain so i'll probably figure that out and do that after we get the chain and stuff going then we'll start on the steering uh after that then we'll get the motor and stuff going uh i'm gonna do a top plate i'm gonna make a custom exhaust i got a stage one kit for this motor uh the back i'm gonna have like an ammo can and stuff I might put my gas tank back there. I'm not sure yet because I don't want to do the stock gas tank. I'm going to do away with it when I do that top plate. And I don't have enough room as I thought I did. I may I may slide it. I may slide the engine up. That way I can put a gas tank behind that radiator. But we'll see. But yeah, that's, that's what we did for this episode. So, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't did that. And just keep following up on my builds and my dogs. They love they love all this stuff. So Yeah, but thank y'all for following. Thank y'all for keeping up with the builds. You know, go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you like what you're seeing, if you like the content that I'm putting out there. So yeah, please subscribe to David E5. And that's it for today, and we'll see y'all on the next one. So thank y'all, and God bless.